I actually think we're gonna deliver a major surprise. I wonder what this surprise is gonna be that he keeps talking about. I would personally be surprised if he doesn't drop out after the Iowa caucus. Vivek Ramaswamy just can't stop saying things that are so bizarre or improbable that they have an air of humor with them or sadness, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it. I think he's kind of had the wind taken out of his sail since his 15 minutes of fame has clearly died and ended before he even managed to pass DeSantis or get into a notable position in the election. And, you know, he's been dropping in the polling ever since. And since then, he's been trying to play damage control, largely bracing for the loss and trying to prepare for how he's going to navigate and figure out to explain, you know, why he lost. But in the meantime, he keeps talking about shocking the world and it's kind of funny this time he was on fox with trump's former uh press secretary kaylee mcadini so president trump he reacted to the news that you were going to stop spending money on tv ads he said this on true social huh. he will i am sure endorse me but vivek is a good man and is not done yet is that something i mean i understand you don't have plan b's you said that is that something you would consider at the right moment should it come to that so not a plan B well, guy. Well, actually have been clear, What about Kaylee? vice president? <laughs> I've been clear. Look, if Trump is the nominee, he has my full support and backing all the way, just as I expect his if I'm the nominee. I actually think we're going to deliver a major surprise in Iowa. Now, again, it's important to note Vivek is polling as low as 1% in some polls, like a recent Rasmussen poll, and on average is only polling 3.5%, which is almost dead equal to Chris Christie, the man who's only running for revenge against Donald Trump. Literally, he's only 0.1% above him. So I wonder what this surprise is going to be that he keeps talking about, because I would personally be surprised if he doesn't drop out after the Iowa caucus, but I feel like he means a surprise more along the lines of somehow winning the primary, which is hilarious at best when you consider the fact that he's trailing Donald Trump by 44% and nobody with a double digit lead, even a 10, even an 8% lead at that, an 8% lead has ever lost in the caucus when leading by that much. So I think his true mission has been accomplished. And again, he's just trying to figure out the best way to navigate the loss where he's forever solidified himself as a conservative influencer. If he wants to have a podcast, he could or make the odd appearance on Fox, but there's definitely no way in hell he wins the Republican primary. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video, because the only way we become a society is together.